Montego Bay, St. James, a communication data forensic analyst expert testified that prior to the murder of 15-year-old Shanika Gray, there was no communication link between her phone and that of the two men accused of her death. Gregory Roberts is currently on trial in the St. James Circuit Court for the killing of the teen in 2017. Co-accused Mario Morrison had pleaded guilty in September 2022 and was sentenced to life in prison a month later. The information came out during the testimony of the officer in charge of the Communication, Forensics and Cybercrime Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, Deputy Superintendent, DSP, Maurice Good in court on Wednesday, DSP Good told the court that call data records received from Digicel. Specific phone numbers and international mobile equipment identity, IMEI, were analyzed. Among the numbers are those belonging to Roberts, his ex-girlfriend, Morrison and Gray, an IMEI is a 15-17-digit identifier that identifies the brand and model of mobile and satellite phones. It also determines if an equivalent is valid, DSP Good pointed out that on January 29th, the day in question, there was communications between the men. Morrison's mobile number was later associated with Gray's phone, DSP Good explained that Morrison had placed his SIM card in Gray's phone and vice versa. Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions Andrea Martin Swaby asked DSP Good to clarify the association between the three numbers in Morrison. Roberts and Gray, we are seeing where there is direct communication between Mr. Roberts' mobile number and Mr. Morrison's mobile number. There were no direct or indirect communications with Ms. Gray's mobile number, stated DSP Good during his digital and verbal presentation. During the trial against co-accused Gregory Roberts in December, Morrison under examination told the court that he received Shanika's phone from Roberts, a day after her death. He said he had placed a card in it and made two calls. Meanwhile, similarly to last month, there was a continued theme of malice between Roberts and his ex-girlfriend. On Wednesday, claims of Roberts' ex-girlfriend owing him money he had given her came out in another series of text messages between the two. At 10.06 a.m. on January 29, Roberts sent a text message to his ex-girlfriend. If I did give you the money on my phone, I would leave you with it but you demand it by telling me that you are coming to sleep with me because you know that is what I want. The text from Roberts read, at 10.06 a.m. Roberts sent another text, so, you took my money on the false pretense and it is not going so, at 10.07 a.m. Roberts' ex-girlfriend replied, don't worry baby. Try your luck with me one more time. It came out in court in December that Roberts had reportedly boasted of making a sacrifice as he warned his ex-girlfriend to repay the money she had fleeced him. Then, on December 14, it came out in court that Roberts had reportedly sent what appeared to be a threatening message to his ex-girlfriend which suggested that he had killed someone and was willing to commit a similar act. DSP Good is the 15th witness to testify to date before a seven-member jury. He is expected to continue today, Thursday.